Hey guys, welcome back. So it's a week since I bought these bees down here. Today's the day we're gonna check these hives out, find out what's going on, and see if we can't put them on a plan for success. So the first thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna check for temperament. I don't know what these bees are like. Let's give them a bang. Not one single bee flying at me. Oh, maybe now. We've got one and he's now returning to the hive. And so is the other couple. So temperament looks okay. Now the middle hive, let's give that a bang. Really not a single thing. I was told when I picked these bees up that that hive there, which was the one that was behind the shed, was aggressive. Now we check out the third one. Let's give them a bang. I think those guys are pretty good. I've got one bee flying around behind me, but other than that, perfect. So let's get into this end one here and see how we go. So these hives were in a backyard. The people had moved out and they contacted me to come and collect them. So I did. Now this lid, if you remember from last time, absolutely chock-a-block full of honey. That's not a bad thing. So you can see straight away that this is a absolute pig of a hive I don't even know the best way to attack this we've got honey up here these frames don't look too bad but we've got a lot of honey obviously someone's taken out these frames and then just left it and the bees have uh, created comb as they see fit. So my plan of attack right now will be just to take this box off and I think I'm going to put it straight back on. So I've got another lid there. I'm going to put that on top of there, then put that lid back on top. That way there'll be minimal robbing. Let's crack this hive open and see what we find. So it looks like all that comb is stuck on the excluder. If I put my hive tool in there and I pull, I can feel that glue. I can feel that glue. Okay, we've got something done there. Let's get this one off and check out the bottom. The temperament is really nice. So you can see there how much of that comb is stuck to that excluder. I'm just going to shake these bees off. And then I'm going to scratch that off the excluder. Maybe over in the distance over there. And then quickly come back. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Let's get rid of this and see what happens. So, so far, so good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke the girls down. I'm going to clean up 
these frames. Okay, so let's pop a frame. Slowly, slowly. Very sticky. We've got some brood, which is really nice. Look at that. These have got no wires in them, these frames. What a nightmare. Really nice brew though. So I'm just going to shake this frame off. And then I'm going to scrape that comb off the bottom. But yeah, you can see this comb is just hanging there. So that's difficult. Next frame in. Temperament is absolutely beautiful. Next frame in has got the same sort of thing, comb. We've got pollen. I can't see any eggs. This comb here is stuck together. So this is pretty ugly, this box. A lot of honey in there too. So no wires, pollen and nectar, a lot of honey. So what do these guys need? They probably need a little bit of room to get that queen laying. Just going to put that brood frame back in. Check out this one. So no eggs in that either. And on the other side, just going to support that with my hand. Looks like there's a little bit of perhaps eggs in there. I only saw one. Give them a bit more smoke. Absolutely neglected hive though. I am looking out for the queen. Some drones in there. Nice brood though. A few perforations there, perhaps emerging. I think I just saw eggs though. So you can see there we've got eggs, larvae, and brood. I'm still just sort of working out what I think they should get. <clears throat> so much honey though I don't think these guys have ever been harvested keeping good eye out for that queen I'm hoping that she pops up we know we've got a queen Another nice sheet of brood, but unsupported comb. It's probably 
not in too bad a condition other than the fact that it's got unsupported comb and it's got a lot of honey but whatever there's room and she is laying so it's pretty close to a normal functioning hive obviously it's just been neglected on the top box and that's probably why the people have wanted to get rid of it let me just see if I can't get rid of this any queen I have smoked these guys an enormous amount so I've probably pushed the majority of the bees down into the bottom box or down into the bottom of the box I should say we've got nice pollen through here no queen cells that's good this has got a bamboo bottom on it so it's like a queen excluder but it's made out of bamboo And on the outside here, this is all pollen by the looks of things. The temperament is really, really nice. I like these guys. So, they don't need anything. I need to sort that top box out. <coughs> what I'd like to do is drag that box off. Put it onto something else. I think I'll just go like that. So, new queen excluder. And I'm gonna plonk that box back on and make a plan to sort it out in the future. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so let's get into this middle hive. See what's been happening. There's a bit of comb on the top of this box. This timber is actually warped, so I'm just gonna leave that as it is. Queen excluder up on top of the two boxes. So that's basically useless and quite fragile. So the temperament of these bees aren't bad at all. And as I briefly touched on when I brought these guys down, some of these frames are just riddled with some sort of borer or something like that. And we have these markings on this frame. So we'll go for this end frame here. Eight frames. I think I'll be able to get maybe this one out. Oh, this frame is stuck. So I took that frame out last time, so I might uh, see if I can't get this one out again. The sun's just gone behind a cloud. So we've got pollen, a roll to be or two here. Gonna shake that off. So I can get better access to this frame, whatever it is. So this looks like a vintage frame. It's got timber lugs that extend past the top bar. And although the top bar looks pretty small, the rest of the frame is in working condition. So let's see what this frame holds for us. It's got wires in it, which is always nice. We've got brood. Nothing untoward with that brood. Plenty of honey. It's just dark, dark comb. This has been 
rotating. Here we've got a queen cell or a queen cup. Let's see if it's got anything in it. That's got an egg in it. Oh no, it hasn't. Just got a little bit of moisture in it. This is going to take a lot of work to get these hives back into a condition where they're sort of easy to manage. Just give them a little bit more smoke. So here we've got eggs and larvae. So it's possible that they've swarmed. Sort of much of a muchness, isn't it? It's all sort of in about the same condition. Are they functioning hives? Absolutely. Are they in poor condition? Probably not. I think, you know, old comb, but the brood looks really good. Same thing here, it looks pretty good. Lots of honey in between those two boxes too. So, looks like this queen's a good layer. More nectar. Honey. The numbers aren't enormous, I suppose for the size of the hive and the amount of brood in the top, I'd expect these guys to have just a little bit more. Jeez, I think I just broke that frame. It certainly sounded like it's probably stuck to the bottom box. Well, then. So, temperament is really nice. They're not flying at me. Do they want me in the hive? Probably not. And here we've got nice pollen. There's a drone there. I'm really surprised because I did think that these guys were going to be in poor condition. A frame of honey on the outside. I'm going to take that. I might pop that in here and then this frame here is relatively flat when you look down the side of it so I'm going to pop that in next to that one. That way when they do draw that new frame out it doesn't end up to be all messy. I think right now, I think I'm just going to leave them. They're functioning, they're in good nick, they're queen right. Let's pop this other box off and have a look. When I see a hive where the frames are all higgledy piggledy and they're obviously quite stuck it tells me that the previous beekeeper was panicking when they put this hive back together. Alright, so let's get in the middle here, somewhere, maybe here, and see if we can't work out. So this is all cross combed. 
So this comb here is running across onto this frame. This comb here is running across onto this frame. So it's just 100% neglected. That's okay. We can work with that. Let's see if we can't get this frame out. That's the problem when you don't use foundation. We're off. So just pollen by the looks of things, bit of honey, get rid of this comb. Doesn't look like there's any brood in this bottom box. So that leads me to a question. Should I just get rid of this bottom box? Probably not yet. I don't know why, but there's pieces of wood nailed in there. So the first three frames look all right. We've got honey. There's no brood in there, that's okay. new honey but this cross comb is going to be a real pain in my backside so let's just see what we can't work out i think i've seen a queen cell on this next frame so let's just see if we can't divide these i think i just squashed a queen cup i think that was the one that i saw nothing in it it's just one of those shallow fat wax ones if I bust this up a bit they might clean it up so the Queen's coming down here as well see we've rolled bees over here I don't know what is going on down the bottom there. There are some sort of timber slats in the bottom of the hive. And the entrance is right up the front there. You can just see the light. But these timber slats, they don't go all the way to the back of the hive. Another queen cell. That's really odd. I might just plonk that frame back in for now. Right, what's happening? Goodness gracious me, this is a mess. All right. So I've got two frames here in one. I might have to take both of these frames out. There's a queen cell down the bottom there. That brood is absolutely wrecked. Layers upon layers of comb. Um, I think I'm gonna bail on this frame. Let's just have a look in that. Up. It looks like looks like that's charged. Yep. So they're right in the throngs of trying to swarm. So there's minimal nectar, a little bit of honey, a swarm cell some brood i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to probably cut all this comb off leave that little bit of brood hopefully they can rectify that and pop this back in so i'm just going to wander off into the bush and do that so that was not successful at all so i'm going to bail on that idea and just give them a fresh frame
And this next frame is going to be just as ugly. It's cross combed as well. You can see here. Really poor condition. I'm going to get that frame out. I don't know where the queen is. I imagine she's up the top. But look at that. So I'm going to have to... Just a bit of pollen. Holy manoli. Just a bit of pollen. There's a lot of pollen in there. I think I'm just going to throw that frame. Minimal brood. No eggs. No larvae. Little bit of honey. And this last one. This is basically same, same. But because this has got nice honey on it, I'm going to take this one home. I'm going to do my best to put this back into some sort of fashion. So it at least starts to function like a proper hive again. Sit that one over there. That one up against it. This one's got some brood on it. Probably need another two frames. So we'll give them a new frame there. And I might see if I can't maybe put a new frame. I'll put it in here. That's relatively flat. They'll build it out as they see fit. I'll just pop this frame across a bit. Seven frames. Uh, do I want to squeeze another one in there? Probably not. I've got one solid, one solid, one. If I put one here, they'll probably just build it out. I'm going to put a new excluder between the two boxes. Worst case scenario, the queen gets stuck in the top box, maybe with a few drones. But it will also help me work out where she is. And if I do want to take a box off, it shouldn't be a problem. We'll put a cover on them so they don't build up in that roof space anymore and I'll shake those bees off before I close them. So it's getting a little bit late in the afternoon. This is the last of these abandoned hives we want to get into. We know the lid's full of honey on this one. So let's get into it and see what happens. So here we've got a whole box filled with what I'm assuming is just honeycomb. But these guys need a cut out, don't they? You now I used this term the other day when I said that's a job for another day. What do you think about this for a job? What a nightmare. I mean, who beekeeps like this? 
<laughs> and I imagine if I go to take this box off, that that comb's going to stay with the bottom box. Let's see what happens when I give that a wiggle. Yep, look at that. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to go into this box, so I'm just going to take it off quickly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, just look at that. That's the underside of that box. I mean, it's pretty straight, but it's pretty ugly all in the same term. A little bit of brood. Looks like a little bit of brood up in there. So what to do with this box? I think this is a blower vac job. Come down with the blower, blow it out, take it home, munch it up. The top of the bottom box doesn't look too bad. I mean, there's a little bit of comb that's ripped up from that comb on the top. But other than that, it's pretty good. I'll give them a bit of a I'll give them a bit of a puff of smoke see if I can't drag out a frame or two just to get an idea of how they're going this frame here looks like a good one look at the propolis on the end there Eight frames. I'll give so let's uh let's get in here. Have a look. I think this is the frame I want to take out. Ah broken frame. So I could get the top bar off, but I think the rest of the frame's gonna stay there. Let's try for this one. killing a couple of bees and I don't see how else we can do this so fat fat comb all right let's reveal so the brood looks okay Few sunken cells here, so I'm just stirring up those cells. Doesn't look like anything untoward, certainly not foul brood. You can probably just see how some of those cells are just sunken a little bit. But I'm not overly worried because they're not. Presenting as anything. Now that's just a baby bee. Alright, then on the other side, did we look at that? We didn't, so we've got brood on that side as well. So I think this one's getting an excluder as well. Um Let's see if I can't pry this frame away now. There we go. 
Well, that frame doesn't look too bad, does it? You can probably see the larvae in there. So we've obviously got a laying queen. And this bottom box, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Apart from a couple of really sticky frames, I'm gonna to have to get rid of this bit of honey. It's just gonna cause a massive problem. These are just overhanging queen cells, nothing to worry about. So looking at that brood there, I think maybe in this one here, I think it's emerging or getting close to emerging. That might be why it's sunken. Other frame looks all right. So the next frame is an absolute ripper. Look at that. It's a pretty good frame of brood, isn't it? So all three colonies are queen right. Doesn't seem to be any type of disease or anything. I'm pretty happy. I don't think I'm going to go into these much more. They just need to be gone through on a constant basis. A couple of broken frames. But once we start going through this hive on a constant basis and swapping out some frames, I'm pretty confident these guys will be a ripper of a hive. Thanks for watching guys. I'll pack these up now. See you on the next one. Mm.